This video will demonstrate how to service the cyclone valve for a Haskell 5 and 3 quarter inch standard liquid pump, gas booster, or air amplifier. For this demonstration, we're using a 5 and 3 quarter gas booster. The cycling valve, also known as the spool section, is located here. Periodic maintenance of the cycling valve is required for optimum performance. If you have excessive continuous exhaust coming out of the muffler, lubrication or other maintenance is required. To access the inner spool of the cycling valve on this model, you must first loosen the nuts on the end of the cooling tube. Once this is accomplished, loosen the nut on the retainer outside of the cycling valve. This nut should only be torqued to 10 pounds per square inch, so removal should not be difficult. Remove this section and place it to the side. Now you can pull out the spool assembly for maintenance. Notice there are eight same size O-rings on the spool and a smaller O-ring located on the shaft. O-rings are also located elsewhere in the unit including the sleeve and pistons. When performing a complete reseal of the cycling valve section, it is also necessary to remove the sleeve. This can be done with a small Allen wrench and a pair of pliers, but it is much easier to use the Haskell sleeve removal tool. This tool has a hook at the end and slots on the side which allow you to use a flathead screwdriver to pry out the sleeve. Insert the tool into the sleeve and feel for it to grab the sleeve inside. Once you feel it grab, insert a flathead screwdriver into one of the slots on the tool and leverage it against the unit's body to pry the sleeve out. Once the sleeve has been partially extracted, you can grab it with your hand to remove it completely. The sleeve has four O-rings on the outer surface. These also require lubrication. Once the sleeve has been removed, you must also extract the bumper from the inside of the cycling valve using the Haskell tool. The bumper has a steel side and a rubber side. Always make sure when reassembling that the rubber side faces the sleeve and the steel side faces toward the unit's casting. When inspecting the spool section, check the condition of all O-rings. All O-rings should have a plump roundness to achieve a proper seal. If any O-ring appears flat or is cut or twisted, replacement is recommended. All O-rings will be included in your Haskell Cycling Valve Maintenance Kit. One of the most common causes of continuous cycling is lack of proper lubrication on the O-rings. As a first step in troubleshooting any continuous cycling problem, apply a generous amount of Haskell silicone-based lubricant to all O-rings in the affected area, making sure not to clog any of the ports. Once all O-rings have been replaced and properly lubricated, you're ready to reassemble the spool section. Keep in mind during reassembly that you should not force parts together, as this can cause damage to the O-rings. To assemble the spool section, lay the booster body on its side to allow for vertical access. Using a long object such as a screwdriver as a guide, insert the bumper into the valve shaft. Make sure the steel side is facing down and the rubber side is facing toward the spool. Next, insert the well-lubricated sleeve. Note that there are four O-rings on the sleeve. Make sure that the end with the O-ring closest to the edge is at the top. Gently push the sleeve into the shaft, making sure not to damage the O-rings. Slide the sleeve all the way down until it snaps into place. Now insert the well-lubricated spool, followed by replacement of the retainer and cooling tube. Remember, the maximum torque for the retainer is 10 pounds per inch. Do not over tighten. This concludes the reassembly process.